Hey everybody, it's Sigacheck Twitter, welcome back to the Let's Play of Banjo Tooie. Get out of here, you muggy. Anyway, I'm here to take care of some cheats, so. Ah, shoot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, fine. Oh, there we go again, okay. Get, I'm trying to input H, there we go. So now I'm gonna be putting in homing from Peggy the Hen. So we have the M, the I, and then over here we have the N, then we have the G. So there's homing, making our ho making our eggs actually homing on enemies, but that's kind of, I, I find that kind of cheap, especially in the final boss, so I'm not gonna use that. And we have fall proof. Oh, got it. Should be there, yep. This will allow us to be able to fall long distances, but in the next world, it also kind of makes it cheap. I said get out of here, you moggy. But anyway, it, it basically cuts. There we go. But I also kind of find it cheap a bit. The whole uh, fall proof thing. Especially in the next world we're going to. So I'm not going to activate that wing either. But they're there, and I'm going to show all the other cheats as well, like I always do in these games. So anyway, I'm going to head to the wasteland now. Because I think it's now time to enter the final world of the game. Because I've pretty much done all the backtracking I can for now. Seriously, let's see. Put these notes here. Now we can help with this bubble that we opened all those puzzles ago. And we rise into the sky. Kind of like in Banjo Kazoo with Click Clock Woods. The last world is equally as goofy and mixed up. This is Cloud Cuckoo Land. Open this warp pad. And trust me, there are only two of those warp pads this whole level, so already. The... Okay, we got ourselves a jumping jack in kangaroo. Pull this flower, and oh, it's a cannon. Alright. But, um, I'm trying to think of backtracking. I can break these, see what I can find. But, um, yeah, my Hem Temple's pretty much done, like, finished. Good, same with Glitter Gulch Mine and Witchy World. A couple things again, Jolly Roger's Lagoon, that I actually you know I could have gotten. I'll get them before the final like, bosses, though. What the heck is that thing? So it's, uh, seed. I'm gonna have to look for something to plant that in. Oh, well, that'll be later. Got here. Another one. What's in this? Alright, this is what we need. Spring of shoes, and we, once again, we quickly jump back into the can. Can we make it? Can we make it? You're gonna need these. Now quickly run back over here to this kangaroo. Because it looks like it has a high jump setup, but obviously we're not gonna be able to make it. But... I didn't see a little physical exercise for a ball. Not really. Kazooie, I would rather play games. Right, I'm Mr. Fit, and I'm really fit. I am so fit, in fact, that you can beat me in three events. I'll give you my fitness gold medal. It is, actually. You can probably see event one is the high jump. Bar said it's my best height. All you need to do is jump over it. No problem. Watch this. Ha, how's that? Oh, I just noticed there's a rare logo on his jacket. And it looks like he's going to prepare for the next round of his triathlon. Which appears to be a, a sack hopping race. We're not equipped for sack hopping, though. Especially on those thorns. So we're going to have to come back for that later. Let's head back over and, uh... You know, I'm going to head over and take on what people believe to be the hardest mini game in this entire game. And if you already know about this game, you already probably know what I'm heading on to. Well, I can might as well give him my best shot. And hope I don't get carpal tunnel syndrome in the process. God, that's gonna hurt. Anyway, we don't have a global yet, so... Can I get... Aw, oh, well yeah, we can't do the transformation yet, but if you go up here... Look who it is! It's old Canary Mary. Another race, but yeah, the handguard's back in the mine. Clockwork Mouse. <sighs> well, we need the Jiggy, and this will be our first one, so let's do this. Now, following my old strategy, 
don't go, don't like completely blaze in front of her in the race. You want to kind of go for a constant pace. want to keep a nice steady pace otherwise because if you go really really fast like you start breaking not only you're gonna get tired over time like I'm starting to okay come on keep going but also okay let's go keep pushing but uh, otherwise she's gonna speed up halfway around the race like okay not too bad that's nothing compared to the second one. The second one is what people consider the hardest game in this entire game, the hardest minigame race. But anyway, if you go really fast, what happens is for the first half of the race, she keeps her normal pace, but around halfway through the race, she's going to then fly a little bit faster than what your fastest speed was. So if you, were, so obviously if you go completely sprinting speed in the beginning, she's easily gonna pass you. What you have to do is just play it a little bit slow, just go a little bit in front of her, and then, at the final stretch, just slam on the accelerator. In this case, when you can see Humba Wumba's tent TP, start going crazy. And in this one, uh, there's a pretty good uh, tell for when the final stretch is when you can start going as fast as you can. And I'm probably going to gain carpal tunnel syndrome in the process. So, let's go. So, pace so far, my hand is not cramping too much. Whee! Oh well, I got a man. It's a nice, fun race. Camera shots are always fun too. This then this race is probably the longest one. It goes all the way around the mountain, like every last bit of it. A little jiggy thing here. I think this is a little preview of things that come in this world. Speed up a bit. And we're coming down, and now we're gonna start pretty soon climbing up this mountain. That's when it's gonna get hard. She's still keeping up with me. I'm pushing as fast as I can. Okay, now we're going up. And now slam on the accelerator. Go now right here at the bottom when you're climbing down the mountain as fast as you can. Start pushing as hard as you can. We almost got this, we almost got this! Ha! Beat it! <laughs> oh gosh, that hurt. Okay. Ah, my wrist is not gonna feel the same for about a couple minutes or so, but oh, it'll, it'll wear off into over time. Yeah, as if you already know what the paper thing is. The last Cheeto page she has to offer. Worm sandwich and tasty bag of minute. No, see, no, no, no third race. No, shut it. Thank you, Canary Mary. Goodbye, you freaking feather bag. Well, the, got the Chia page and the first chicky of Cloud Cuckoo Land. Man, that was kind of a nice way to earn it. Oh, wait, no. The Panther's over there. Oh. That's another thing. Be careful, you can fall to your death in this world. But there is no life system in this game, thank goodness for that. And if you die, you don't have to reset all your notes again, which is, I think I've already talked about how this game somewhat is quite better than Banjo-Kazooie in those cases. Alrighty then. Now time to go on another little side quest of this world. Get your click, get your, uh, click clock, clockwork eggs right there we go. I click clock of that. The same thing as NCS did. Clockwork eggs. Just gonna aim this crack over here. Go at him. You see a one here. You can only hit it by exploding a clockwork egg on it. And that number one. You see a random. Okay, that's a random safe. Probably inside the mountain. Oh, an ice cube. What the heck is that doing up here? Whoa. Hey, young man. 
a George Ice Cube stuck up here at this perilous altitude. Oh, no, that was the husband of Mildred. The Ice Cube kind of blew up. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. Now, I reckon I'm above the icy side, so if you could just give it a little push. Wait, no, because you're not that. Yeah, off we go. Uh oh. Looking at his trajectory from up here. Wrong side! Tell me that I love oh. hmm, Looks like he cooled that water down the lava side, though. That'll be useful for backtracking, but actually, if, when I looked at the stats. What the? Uh oh. We best head out. Okay. But, um. When I looked at the stats, Hailfire Peaks is done. We've collected every last thing. All we can do is do backtracking for it. Oh, Zava. I thought we saw the last of them at Click Clock Woods. Anyway, got the, um, yeah, another empty honey come up there. Kind of a random trash can floating in the. Ah, oh, shoot, he took damage. Didn't want to take damage. Okay. Better get our, another clockwork egg ready. Here it is. Right back of the trash can. Distance. There we go. Perfect. There's gonna be another switch in here somewhere. I can bet it, Jack. Found it. A four. Alright. I guess the story behind that is, because I'm probably gonna get it if I ask him, if you go that safe inside, he's gonna say that he needs a combination to open it. I bet you can already tell what's inside him, but can't remember. So that's why we have to find these switches. Now we're gonna head up to the top of the mountain. All the way to the top. Oh shoot, more of those egg turrets. I heard him. Just, uh, come down, land. head on into the top of the mountain. But, um, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, Hellfire Picks is done. All I can really do is just work on, you know, finishing up all the other worlds now. I'm trying to think what needs to still be done. There's quite a few stuff to do in Jolly Roger's Lagoon, and I already know why, because I kind of skipped those little stupid fish. Got him. Okay. Loving the infant fire rakes, but anyway. What else? Pterodact land, there's still a couple things to get there. Grunty Industries, same thing, but... Yeah, it's really just Jolly Roger's the Goon and this world that need to be taken care of right now. And we'll be done. Okay, let's fire another one on this side. It's gonna be another one. Yes, sir, another one of those switches, but hey, this will be out of the way and done. Um, okay. Took a while to load that one. An eight. Okay, it's one, some number, eight, four. Alright, now I gotta take a leap of faith. Jump over here and aim for the upper pool. Aw, oh, come on. I was like right there, and then it got. Ah, uh, anyway. Got this stupid globo that we just wasted a lot of health on. Sadly, unlike in Mario 64, you don't get energy when you get back out of the water. But I was watching Horror Maniac 13. He is now, he's just, if you've not seen his Let's Plays, you should go see him. Because he's amazing. And he just beat Kaizo Mario 64. I was watching. If you don't know, it's like, what, probably the hardest Super Mario 64 hack out there. So I must give his, so I must give props to him on that. He has done probably more than what I'll ever try and do. I don't think I'll ever try a ROM hack because sometimes they're just cruel to you sometimes, but yeah, check him out. I, fi I, fi I love his Let's Plays, they're pretty funny. Nice coke thing with L and everything. Anyway, I'm rambling again. I hate it when I ramble. I'm gonna head up top of the Super Stash safe. See this whole little red thing? We're gonna need one more Clockwork Egg. One more. Oh well. What's scary is I'm doing all this work and I haven't even really made a huge dent on on Cloud Cuckoo Land just yet. There's still plenty more. I can't quite. Is it a six or an, a nine? A nine. Ah. 
1984. Should have remembered that. It's a real rare date. Now that's a clue, I guess. The whole rare thing, obviously. 1984 is when Rare first opened, but it was under a different name. I believe it was called Ultimate. The game company that gave everybody Battletoads. If you don't know what Battletoads is, you can look it up. I've never played it, but I keep hearing stuff that it's some amazing thing. I don't know what that goes with these guys. Did he just hit me with a sausage? My goodness. First a flower, a candy cane, a sausage. Blech. Get out of here. Let me get up. Thank you. Now we're going to need a switch. Split up into Kazooie because I believe there's a hat. I think that requires hatching around here. Here it is. Don't fall down. <laughs> okay. Let me get on it. Let me get on the egg. Oh, there we go. Get the camera right. Okay. Inside, this is going to be useful, but I'm going to have to save this for later. It's, uh... What is that? Floatus Floatium. Well, that'll come in handy, but anyway. I'm Lucky Check Twain, and let's play a Banjo Twain the next part. Like, well, obviously, we're just going to be doing more stuff here in Cloud Cuckoo Land, so... We'll probably use that Floatus Floatium somehow. So, I'll see you guys in the next part, and... Well, I don't really know what else to say here, really. I'm kind of amazed that this is starting to come to a close. Oh. Take care, everybody. See ya.